everybody just back with another video here so it uh, looks like Pierre Polyev was just uh, having an interview and uh, he posted some of the a clip here which I'll definitely show with you in just a minute here but it says NDP liberals handing out tax funded opioids is causing more chaos destruction and death in our streets cut off the activists bureaucrats and academics who profit off the misery ban hard drugs defund drug dens bring our loved ones home drug free so that's a typical message from Pierre. Let's have a look and see what he has to say here. Can you point us to evidence showing that drugs that are given out for free are ending, ending up in the hands of children? Well, I don't have to. You just have to ask the police and even the, uh, the, even the so-called experts have now been caught on television or on, on tape saying that they're, they're being diverted. And in BC, the public health authority, which has been a great advocate of this radical scheme, has admitted that it's ending up in the hands of children. Uh, Adam Zivo from the National Post has given, uh, has done intrepid reporting on this, where he's shown that the cost of a hydromorphin tablet has dropped uh, on the street, has dropped by like 95%, because as soon as the uh, addicts get the drugs, they resell it so they can buy something more potent. Uh, and uh, it has been uh, handed off to kids. Uh, so. Look at the look at what uh, the public health activists and even one of your there's one uh, uh, do, so-called doctor here in town who uh, was caught on tape admitting that there's diversion of those drugs. So uh, the dev, the evidence is in and it's final. And uh, you know I would also encourage the media to be more responsible. Uh, I, it is just so irresponsible Good luck with that. to go and quote people who profit from the ongoing drug crisis as though they are experts. They are not experts. If they were experts, their policies, which have been implemented over the last nine years, would not have caused 40,000 deaths, would not have seen an over 100% increase in op opioid overdoses. They... The last thing they want is for the crisis to end because they're do they're making so much money off of it. Uh, we've got to stop feeding the activist class and start providing treatment and recovery. I would encourage you if you're going to be if you're going to cover this drug issue, stop talking to the people who caused the problem. Start talking to the recovery centers. I would ask why don't you ask the people when you when you interview them, why don't you ask them how many people have you got off drugs? Call them up, the local public authority, public health authorities. Ask them how many people they've gotten off of drugs. Because it's, it's interesting, the media in, rewards these people for the carnage that they're causing. They call, you call them experts. They're not experts. They're experts only at one thing, and that is perpetuating the drug crisis. Their policies have been implemented for the last nine years, and we see the results. The experts are the people at places like Harvest House in Ottawa or the Oak Center in Winnipeg, where they bring people in and get them off of drugs. Let's start quoting them as the experts. Yeah, I mean, he's right. I, you know, everyone who has an opinion that the left agrees with, they just coin them as an expert as if they actually know what they're talking about. It's like, uh, didn't they do that over the pandemic and they were wrong about everything? But now it's, oh, but new experts are coming in on a, on a new issue and the left agrees with it. So they must do a good job. Wrong again. People are overdosing. More people are homeless. The, like Pierre Polyev, uh, Pierre, Pierre Polyev said, the cost of hard drugs on the street is going down, making it even easier to get. There's also more of it. It is ending in uh, up in schools. They, they've done many reports on this, that these kids are getting the, these drugs and it's still in the packaging from the dispensary or from the drug den as Pierre Polyev calls it. It's still got the, like, the label and the, the logo on it, so they know where it's coming from. And, you know, again, they just don't want to do anything about it. Why? Because they want people sick. When people are sick and they're addicted to drugs and their immune system is cr uh, completely crashed, they're going to get sick. And guess who profits off of people being sick? The pharmaceutical industry. Now, he hasn't really said, he hasn't really gone that far yet. I, I do wonder why he won't call out the big pharma well actually i think he has before but he didn't in, in this little uh clip but I, and i do wonder why maybe he just left it out but he should be criticizing big pharma every chance he gets 
uh, because he damn well, just like everyone else knows that they are profiting from this health epidemic. Robert Kennedy Jr. in the States talks a lot about this, right? It's a gigantic epidemic with it, with children getting sick in all kinds of different ways, autism, all different kinds types of cancers. It's disgusting and they're profiting off of it and they don't care who dies. Get sick, give us all your money and then, okay, you can die now. That's basically what it is, at least in the States. But, you know, up here when you're, you know, giving a, a safe supply of fentanyl, which I'd love to hear what that even is, considering a very small amount can end your life, they actually think, well, they, they tell people that they think that, no, this is a way to help people. And it's not. It just isn't. It's not working in BC. It's not going to work anywhere else here in Canada. And for the liberal NDP government to see what's happened in BC and want to continue to bring it to Ontario or to Quebec and all these other places, it just shows you. They see something bad happening. They don't want to stop it. They want everyone to have to go through it. They want drugs everywhere. Why? It's really hard to, for people to stand up and fight or to improve their health when they're addicted to drugs. So they're not making it easier to do it. it it's just, it's disgusting what, what what's happening with this liberal NDP coalition. And yes, it is a coalition. Really tired of people saying, well, actually, it's not a coalition. They're working together and Jugmeet Singh is propping up Trudeau. That's a coalition. It's just, it, it's it's really embarrassing how, and like Pierre Paul, you have said too, like the media needs to do better as well. They, they don't cover this properly. They don't cover this nearly enough. And then they ask stupid questions like this and call everyone who, who agrees with their opinion an expert. It's just, it's so ridiculous. Um, you know, and, and the last thing I want to say here about this is, you know, when, when you get children addicted to drugs at an early age, like when they're 12, 13, it becomes much more difficult for them to get off as an adult. Because by the time they're an adult, they've already been on these drugs for a long time. When I was a kid, you'd see this happen once in a while where, you know, someone you went to school with got into drugs really early. But you're seeing like for every one kid that I saw, you're seeing two or three now. Or at least that's what I'm hearing. Let me know what you guys are hearing because... I mean, frankly, this is really, it's wrong and it's sick what the what the liberals and the NDP are allowing to happen, even after they see the evidence, which again, proves my point that they are not stupid. They are evil 100%. Maybe you can be both, but they absolutely have the evil in them. And anyone still supporting them, you got to really think about what they're actually doing and what their agenda really is for this country. It's not good. If you're an average person, you should be feeling terrified of another liberal NDP coalition government. It should be absolutely terrifying to you. So let me know what you think in the comment section. <clears throat> I always uh, enjoy reading that, like I say in every video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.